If you want to get some inspiration for your next website design, then make sure you stick around as we go through the top Webflow websites for the month of November. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today is Webflow Wednesday, the day where we talk about all things Webflow and more specifically our favorite websites for the month of November. These following websites were all created with this amazing platform called Webflow. And if you've never heard of it, if you're interested in it, I recommend you check that out. I actually have a link below. Now this video is not sponsored at all, but I do have an affiliate link below that will help me out tremendously. If you sign up for Webflow using that link, I get a little bit of the you know, proceeds from that. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is RR Abrat. I'm the founder and creative director at Abrat Creative. We create websites for businesses, for nonprofits, for people with purpose, for people with a mission. And we create it specifically through this amazing platform called Webflow. And as we look through these websites, hopefully you can get some inspiration for your next design, some ideas that can fuel your next website project. Now the first website we're going to look at, I actually found out about it through Webflow's Twitter account. If you follow Webflow on Twitter, then you probably already saw this amazing, really, really fun website. And this website was created by a person named Martin Olivier. And I hope I'm saying that right. I want to show you these webs this website. You ever see one of those websites? I'm in the process right now of redesigning my website. And you ever see one of those websites that as you're in the process of redesigning yours, you just want to scrap everything and forget everything you designed, forget your wireframes, forget your sketches, forget your designs, because you see a website that is just so amazing. And I get so jealous looking at this website. Great job, Martin. Amazing, amazing work. I want to show you this. Um, it's olivier.co. And by the way, I'll put his Twitter handle on the, uh, down there or whatever social media handle, I'll put it um, underneath here. So if you look at it, it looks very simple, right? But as you scroll down, check out this animation, this dinosaur. This dinosaur becomes like the mascot of this website. Really, really fun. Look at that animation. This makes me want to learn illustration and animation, After Effects. I mean, man, such talent. I'm working on it, by the way. You know, I got my iPad. I'm working on illustrations here and there, but I'm not this level yet. But notice this as you scroll down. Now, really, it's probably something he created. He illustrated it and then put it on After Effects and then uh, made it a Lottie file that you can put on Webflow. And it's actually that animation happens as you scroll down. It's not just a standard video. As you scroll down, that dinosaur eats the word nonsense and blood comes out. I really, really need to learn this, man. I'm right now I'm stuck just like getting Lottie, you know, files from like LottieFiles.com or all these animation websites. I'll even buy it. But man, this is um, this is just awesome, awesome work. So we'll go ahead and scroll down. As you notice, it changes to a color of a, a nice. Oh, by the way, I really like this color, kind of just dark, grayish, tannish color. Love the cars in this. Of course, of course, he's got to flex a bit. He's got Bentley and PayPal and Casio, some of the people that he's worked with. And as you can see here, it's really an experience. As you scroll down, this website's just totally an experience. I love this illustration here as well. It's showing you all of his um, things that he's done, which is a lot. And of obviously animation right here. Genius with that dinosaur again. And as you scroll down, we have some more animations here. Just scroll down those uh, flex because that's what this website is, man. This website's a flex. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? And as you scroll down, I love this part right here. This is very subtle, very simple, but I really do love this part. Is as you scroll down here, and he talks about his process. And there's even as you scroll down, a bar pops up at the top, a scrolling bar. And as you scroll down. It explains what this process is instead of just a standard, you know, one, two, three, but it actually says it on the top. And I really, really like that. That's a really that's subtle that I appreciate. Um, we have here some tweets um, from things that he's created. And of course, some recommendations, good portfolio to follow. If you are creating a portfolio, this can be done if, if he wants to get clients, if he wants to get a job, this will accomplish all of that. 
And of course, you gotta put you know all the things that he's created with some hover animations there, subtle hover animations, some beautiful ones. And then I love I love this. It ends, of course, with our mascot, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And there's a subtle animation as well. If you can see, the T-Rex eyes are looking to wherever the mouse is going. And once you hover, it goes right there. And this is an awesome website. Great job, Martin. And, uh, you know, man, just I, I can't say enough words for this website. Great website to start off our review today. The next website we want to look at is from our friends over at FinSuite. Friends over at FinSuite. You know them. I mean, they're they're no stranger to the channel. They're no stranger to Webflow. I mean, they're one of the legendary Webflow designers there. I actually have a great privilege of working on things with them. Those things will be coming up soon. And a great honor to meet the people there. Now, this is a website they created uh, for a product called Weglot. It's actually a translation um, app. It's a translation plugin that you put into your websites. And this is more so that you're able to use it on Webflow. Now, I want you to check this out. Some of these animations, some of the animations that FinSuite does, man, um, I'm still trying to figure out. I need to go ahead and ask Joe how they did these things um, or ask the programmer. Because as you notice, of course, we have this animation right here with the globe. Awesome, right? As you scroll down, look at all these. I mean, just the tremendous work put in here. It really explains what we need this translation for. There's one specific animation that I want you to see. A specific UX uh, thing that they added here that I want you to see, okay? So we're talking about language and the language barrier. We want people uh, from all languages to see our website. Of course, you can see they have the progress bar here. Always a good thing to add to your website, especially when you have a website that's like a one-pager and there's going to be a lot of scrolling down. It's really good to add these progress bars so that people know where they're at, okay? Now, check this out. As you go here, what well, for design besides for customers all over the world, we don't all speak the same language, the language barrier. And notice, check this out. As you scroll down, you're not able to scroll down anymore. You have to click this to break it because you're breaking the language barrier. So you click this once, twice, and boom, the rest of the websites, the rest of the website is able to be seen now. And that's just... I mean, I'll tell you what, I just, I give up. Those are some of the things that maybe just want to quit. You ever just see websites and you just want to quit web design? You're like, eh, I quit, right? This is one of those. Um, of course, we have, I mean, just subtle, subtle animations everywhere. Even here, notice, as you scroll down, I mean, as you move your mouse around, the eye moves around. And if you click this, it goes up. If you have... A website, let's say a website was in German, you add Spanish, 10% people can read it. If you add French, and it goes up and up and up. I mean, that's just, come on, guys. That's just, ugh. You ever see those things just like, ugh. It makes you angry how good it is. This is one of those. It makes me angry how good it is. Man, even this, look at this experience right here. Pie, torta, man. And then this, I mean, look at that. All these speech bubbles coming into a square like that. I hate you guys. I hate you, Vince Sweet. I know, I love you guys. You know I love you. I'm just so impressed with the work that yeah, that they do. It's just amazing. Um, anyway, and by the way, Vince Sweet, you know, they, they are doing some things that are just killer work. Uh, some of the news, if you haven't um, been up to date, they're, gonna, they're doing development only now, and they have a lot of products that are releasing that is going to be a help to anyone that uses Webflow. So you should check those out. I have the privilege to be able to um, help in in my own way in some of those products, which is really, really cool. I love working with them. Um, and then you just keep scrolling down. And of course, we have just all these things. And yeah, these are actually the ones that you, these are the plugins that you can put on your um, what the website? And you know what's amazing with FinSuite? I mean, these are all just free. They're finally starting uh, uh, something called Noble, where they're actually charging. But before that, they've created so many things for the Webflow community that are just totally free, like the CMS Docs, like um, Webflow Hacks, like Sweet JS, their customer service Slack. If you're not part of that Sweet JS, you need to be part of that. And even this right here. The one that they, they don't even talk as much about, but they created this thing plugin for free. I know I personally use this in a website 
uh, for a client. So this is awesome, awesome work from the FinSuite team. I mean, check that website out, translate-wf.com. And then last one. By the way, I'll, I'll put uh, FinSuite's, you know, uh, social media handles down down there. Make sure you follow their YouTube channel. They got a lot of content coming up in the future. Now we have the last one. This is a personal favorite of mine. I gotta give it, of course, also is created by one of our friends, Alex Harton. I'll put his um, uh, info uh, underneath there. I'm not sure if he has Twitter um, or Instagram. Um, I'm friends with him on Facebook. I'll put his uh, Webflow uh, user profile or one of those things underneath but he created this and of course i gotta give it up for my 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 homie my friend alex great job on this and of course i gotta love it because it's about the black mamba my man the kobe bryant if you don't know i'm the biggest kobe bryant fan i have jerseys i have hats i have t-shirts i have a funk i i'm just i'm a laker fan i live in la and i'm the biggest um kobe fan and of course rest in peace kobe I mean, you got to understand, man, when I heard that news when he passed away, I was just, I was devastated. I was like, it was like losing a friend. No, legit. You may not understand it. You may be like, oh, it's just a sports person. But to me, and I know this has a the webflow, but I remember the day when I heard about it, actually that week, I just, it was like losing a friend. It really was. I went over to Staples Center um, that night and there was so much people, thousands of people there. Um, anyways, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop before I cry. Okay. So let me refresh this so you can see that opening animations. Um, this is one's not actually a website. It's just a template that he created just to, uh, kind of like a, uh, uh, to copy Netflix. If they were to make, if you know about Netflix, they've created a documentary called the last dance about Michael Jordan. And, um, this is just, if they were to create a documentary, uh, they didn't create it, not Netflix. It was on Netflix, but not Netflix didn't create it. But if the Black Mamba, that documentary called The Black Mamba uh, was created. And so um, really, this is more just intro animations that you can see. And I love what he inserted here, that even as it's there, we have these flashing lights that pretend that are kind of like if they were um, um, camera flashes as these uh, uh, taking pictures. So, man, actually, I used to have these pair of shoes right here. Actually, let me refresh this. I think I had all these pairs of shoes. I had that, the Adidas Crazy 8s. Not that one. I had Kobe 6s. I still have the Kobe 6s here. And I have those, of course, the the um, the car shoes. We call them the car shoes. They were inspired by a car. Okay, I got to stop. I'm just talking about Kobe. I'm not even talking about websites. I'm sorry. Now, click watch now. And, of course, we have the thank you, Kobe. Oh, I have this hat. I have this jersey. I Okay, I'm going to stop. Um, but great job, Alex. Um, just some inspiration for you uh, for this Black Mamba uh, website. I'm going to link his stuff below. We've uh, reviewed three amazing, amazing websites. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you got some inspiration from those awesome websites. Check out their social media handles below. Make sure you follow them. Also, hey, if you want to follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, I post there from time to time especially on twitter i'm very active on there as well follow me on twitter rr abroad make sure you click the like button help us out bump the video up in the youtube algorithm and also click the subscribe button we come out with content for freelance designers for designers uh, stuff about webflow and all those things i think you're going to enjoy the content that we have coming up till next time guys happy thanksgiving for all my american friends out there remember Always keep learning. Peace.